Hello everyone, I'm back with another Minecraft video, and in today's video guys, I'm going to be teaching you how you can actually detect whether or not you're riding a mob just by using scripts in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So, uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool feature, and I think I'll go ahead and start by showing you an example of what this can do. So, pretty much, let me just get an adult strider, there we go, and if I were to actually hop on the strider, it says I'm riding it, I hop off, I'm not riding it. And even if I get close to it, so it is detecting it whether or not I'm writing it. It's not just like, you know, a command block. Because so if I do game rule, let me do game rule, and then command blocks enabled, it is currently set to false, as you can see. So, um, yeah, this is literally just a script doing all the work, and it is pretty easy to do. So I'll be teaching you how you can actually um, make this for yourself. And I'll probably make this like a template add-on or something. I don't know. Um, I might start doing that, actually, for, like, little script things I do. I might just, you know, start making templates for people to use. But anyways, um, yeah, um, hopefully you enjoy this tutorial. But anyways, before I, uh, I show off how to do this, uh, if I were to actually go here, let me go to this, uh, this is going to be very important to us. It's called the Entity Writing Component Class, which is a brand new feature, I'm pretty sure. Or it's not new, I don't think, like, for actually writing, like, for, like, you know, like getting like or adding you know the writers it's like to a different entity but this is this specific part is newer so um let me go ahead and show you what i mean so down here um it has the we have the ability to do entity writing on which means if we're writing an entity we can literally detect whether or not we're doing it and then do a command or, or something it doesn't matter we can do anything so it says the entity um this this is the entity this entity is currently writing on so yeah, you can detect whether or not you can do that with that. However, it gets kind of messy by doing this method because if you do this, then it doesn't detect whether or not you're getting off of the mob and there is no ability to do that. Even if you add an, an explanation mark at the beginning of it, it does not matter, it doesn't work. So yeah, I've tried it, it doesn't do anything. But what we're gonna be focusing on is actually this component ID called Minecraft Writing. So uh, what we're gonna do actually is I'm gonna start by making a completely new add-on. So I'm going to go into bridge v2, and I'm just going to make a simple um, pack. And it's not going to be much. It's just going to be, you know, showing you how you can actually do this for yourself. And, uh, yeah, it's not that hard, actually, to do this. So I'm going to go here, and I'm going to do um, create local project. I'm going to only do behavior pack. We do not need resources. Experimental gameplay. Uh, we'll just do, you know, all this right here. And I'll just call this... Um, the um writing um detect um detect if um a player is writing a mob uh detect um okay I will just call that and then for the description we'll just do um this add-on uses scripts to detect whether or not the player is writing. A mob and we'll just set the main version to 40 and um, let me do add pack name description directly to the manifest okay yes um, it's a project for use with better I don't know about that but anyways what we're gonna do is just we should be able to create it um, AGP okay sh this should be good though oh author right shouldn't call like that I'm just gonna do my YouTube channel name and now what we're going to do is just do create. And then it's literally just um, a behavior pack. So there's no resources, I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Okay, so there is resources technically, but um, it's not really much. So, uh, yeah, anyways, what we're going to do is actually... I'm going to show you what you can do. So, oh, it already has our scripts folder. Nice. Wait, it already has it? Wait, it already has everything? Oh, okay. So it already made our scripts for us, which is pretty cool, actually. So, yeah, we you want to make sure you have a scripts folder, obviously, and you want to make sure you have it called, you know, whatever you want. Mine's just called main.js, I guess. And in here, um, we're going to make sure everything's set properly, because I guess some stuff's already in here. Remove game test, the one that says game test, because we don't really need that one. And um, I need to make sure everything else is set, which it does look like it is. Main.js, perfect. I'll make sure it's 1.2.0 beta, 
not like point oh point oh beta because that's such an older version and I don't even think it's actually available so it would just completely mess up everything. But anyways, uh, make sure it's set like this and then make sure you save your manifest. Now in scripts, what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to do import and then you're gonna want to do um you're gonna do this and then dot slash and then we're gonna call it uh, ride dot js. Okay, now that we have that, what we're going to do is go into scripts, create a new file, and I'm going to call it ride.js. Now in here, we're going to do import, and then we're going to do double space, world, and then comma, system. And from, um, and we're going to do at minecraft slash server, semicolon at the end. Okay, now that we have this, we're going to do system dot run, and um, right now it's, it's, it only so it only shows up with run. This is because Bridge V2 is using an older version, um, which has not been fully updated yet. So we're going to do run interval, not run. But anyways, now that we have this, make sure you just um, just close it in like that, and then right here, right here between the last two, you're going to want to do space equal sign. And then greater than, and then just do brackets, and then just press enter. Now it should look something like mine. If it doesn't, you messed up. You messed up really bad. But anyways, um, now that you have this, we're gonna do let, and then um, players writing, and then we're gonna do equal to world dot get players, which will pretty much just get all the players that are currently actually of like online in your world. So now that we have this, we're going to do a for loop, which in this for loop, we're going to actually do let player, and we're going to do of um, players writing, which is just basically getting, which is doing, basically this is equaling to uh, this, pretty much. And now that we have that, we're going to do brackets, enter, and then now what we're going to do is do if um, player, and now that we have that, this will actually allow us if we do just uh, if player dot, it'll allow us to do all of these right here. So it'll allow us to do everything that you can currently see. And uh, yeah, that's actually how you can do that. Now, if we were to do like I don't know some other var variable, um, it won't actually do anything. So like, if I do uh that, then if I do player um dot, no nothing's gonna pop up. So make sure you spell everything correctly. Make sure this looks similar. It doesn't have to be the exact names, but you know, make sure it looks something like this. Anyways, what we're gonna do if player dot has tag, and then we're gonna do writing, and instead of doing if it has a tag, we're gonna detect whether or not it doesn't have a tag. So we need to put an exclamation mark at the very beginning, and now what we're gonna do is do and um, player dot um, has component. And then Minecraft colon writing. Now this is pretty much what this is right here. We're just getting the component ID right here, and that's what we're gonna do for that. Now if these conditions meet, then we're gonna do player dot run command async tag at s add writing. Now instead of just also doing add writing, we're gonna do player dot run not run command sorry we're gonna do on screen display set title and then we're gonna do um writing okay we're actually we're gonna do is writing it's a bit different this time but anyways now that we have that we're just pretty much gonna do the same thing so we're gonna do player um sorry I, I spelled that wrong player dot uh has I'm spelling everything wrong has tag writing and we're not going to put an exclamation mark this time because we're actually detecting if it has the tag. And what we're going to do is do and exclamation mark player dot has component Minecraft colon writing. So this one's going to detect whether or not it has a tag and it doesn't actually have the component writing. Now we're going to do brackets enter and then player dot run command async tag at s remove writing and now we're going to do player dot on screen display dot set title 
and for the title we're going to do um not writing and now that we have this um that's pretty much all we need for everything to function however we're not done we need one more thing it's the most important step without this step stuff might not work at all i'm pretty sure but anyways what you're going to do is right in between the last two brackets right here do comma and then uh by default it'll actually be set to 20 so you're um it's going off the game ticks which i'm pretty sure is 20 so you can make this any number you want but for me i'm gonna do 10 so now that we have that what i'm gonna do is actually go back into minecraft and um, i'm gonna disable uh my main add-on that i have this in and i'm gonna get my new add-on which is detect if a player is writing a mob this add-on uses scripts to detect whether or not the player is writing a mob. We're going to activate it, which um, I, I asked it not to do resources, but it keeps it kept doing resources anyways, I guess. But yeah, there won't be a resource pack if this is downloadable. There will not be a resource pack, don't worry. Anyways, we're going to go into, we're going to press play. And now what's going to happen is it should basically detect whether or not we're writing on a mob. So, okay, let's see. So we're going to do test4, if I can find the command. Okay, I guess I cannot find the command. Okay, let me do test4, at a, tag equals writing. Now, as you can see right now, it says no targets, match selector. However, if I get a horse, and I get on the horse, it is writing, and I now have the tag. Now I'm not writing it, so I don't have a tag because it kicked me off. But let me get a better example. Let me do a better example. Let me get a Shredder. So let me get an adult Shredder, not baby Shredders. Okay, there we go. Put a saddle on it. As you can see, it is writing. So now I have the tag. I get off of it. I'm not writing it. So now it says no targets, match selector. So this is a pretty simple, you know, thing you can do. And this works for every mob in the game, even custom mobs. So I can't really, actually, I can't really show you that because I disabled the add-on. But it does work for custom mobs. It's pretty cool. Um, now the only downside is, um, I don't know how to detect whether or not if it's if you're writing or not writing a specific mob. I only know how to do um all mobs. So that's something that I haven't learned yet. However, one day someone different will learn it um, themselves, and then they'll share it to the public more than likely. But anyways, um, that's pretty much all I have, you know, for today's video. It's pretty simple. It's pretty, you know, short and sweet. And it just explains how you can detect whether or not you're writing a mob just by using a single script, one script only. And it's pretty, um, you know, it's pretty nice. And it it can probably help you with command block creations to be honest. So like you could detect, oh, if you're writing a mob. And, you know, if, okay, you get to do, like, um, execute at P, and then tag equals, and then, you know, writing, and then you can do, like, you know, execute at E type equals horse within, like, a certain radius of you. And if the horse is within the radius of you and you have the tag, then let's say something happens. So, yeah, you could probably use command, command block creations with this. So it wouldn't just be like, oh, yeah, if you're on the horse, you know, or if you're near the horse, it'll do it. You have to be actually riding the horse in order for it to do it. Or, you know, you have to be on the mob and you have to be near the horse. It doesn't matter. But, yeah, anyways, that can be how you can use command blocks or something. You can make it do something like a title or something, like how I just did. But, yeah, the title's you know, optional. You don't have to do the title if you don't want to, but, um, it's just there to show you that it does work. But anyways, um, it's pretty much all I have for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, make sure you like the video and subscribe, and, um, like, comment down below if you want more tutorials like this, um, because I could probably try to do a few more. But anyways, it's pretty much all I have. Um, hopefully you enjoyed. See you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.